I realize price tags on my local grocery store is looking a little bit different. They are not printed on the paper anymore and they are all electronics. I'm not talking about one or two price tags, like hundreds or even thousands of them replaced with these little devices. Just look at those. I wonder if I can buy one and play with those little devices. It might be pretty interesting, I guess. I went to eBay and looked for something to play with and searched for electronic price tag. And also, if you can't find a good deal, you can try shelf label keywords and try to find yourself a good deal. Most of the time you can find good deals from the electronic surpluses, so just search for it. The link that I used is of course not available anymore, but the brand that I end up buying it is the Hand Show. Even if you search for the same keyword, I'm pretty sure you can end up finding lots of similar products. So I was able to score some from eBay and this is from Han Show brand. On the outside, there is nothing much, and there is one e ink, e -ink display here, and also one LED over here. And they just put the barcode for configuration, maybe for their system, and that's all about it from the outside. And simply, you just put it on the uh, products they just stay there and here is where the battery lies but it is quite a tight fit and you cannot actually remove it by your hands you definitely need something it's pretty hard to remove okay I think I figured it out here you need to push this place place and then the battery will pop out like this it's not that hard so they have one big battery with two cells and they are lithium batteries so not chargeable and this is the PCB we need to figure out a way if we can use these pinouts to program this thing and we cannot see more from here and we need to open up more to see what's inside of this price tags so i removed the case from one of them and it was a little bit uh, distractive because i couldn't remove it without breaking this archaic case bottom case is this you just put the pcb on here and it holds and on the PCB here you have your e-display and it is uh, directly soldered to the PCB and you have your microcontroller and I cannot see it from here but I will uh, tell you and write it down here somewhere what that is uh, but from the PCB what I can say well this is the LED that uh, you see in one of these other ones but the, there is an antenna here and by the looks of it it looks like 2.4 gigahertz antenna either bluetooth or wi-fi i don't think that it is going to be a wi-fi chip probably this is going to be a bluetooth chip or an rf chip and what else you have your driving circuit for the e-ink display and also I realized there's another hidden antenna here and I think this is for RFID probably you can update the screen with the RFID as well I think and but I think more or less that's it these things are quite cheap as it should be because markets and supermarkets are buying those with the millions but I would like to find a way to program this chip because it's already there and also all the packaging and everything is pretty fine. So I think it would be the best way to go forward for these things. And they nicely labeled down the pins over here. Serial communication pins are mentioned here as well. 
I wonder if we can program these chips from using these pins. If you type Handshow, the brand of the price tag, you will see many projects which are using the same uh, price tag. I found out this GitHub page and he reverse engineered one of the e price tags that I also have and it even has the same microchip that I have in my price tag. He also has a YouTube channel so go and check his channel as well if you are interested. While browsing on the internet I found out this blog entry and it is Chinese and of course you can always auto translate the page but it is pretty straightforward and if you just follow along with my video then you would be fine. And in his repo he made a few additions to the ATC TSLR paper GitHub page. For example, it supports adding text to the display right away and also it supports the price tags which have red color as well. And you can set up the time zone right away from the interface. To access the GitHub page, you need to click this link and it directs you to the GitHub page and then you need to download the code. You can find compatible models in this folder and this is how you need to connect the ePrice tag to program it. You can program these things using a regular USB to TTL boards but I don't have one with me and I will use one of the ESP boards which I had uh, laying around. First I tried to program it using this regular uh, cables like this. Uh, but it was quite hard to hold it like this, uh, holding four cables. And I was able to program it while doing so. But, well, I don't recommend it because it is quite hard and takes a lot of time. And instead, I soldered these pins. And basically, I removed these pin headers from one of my old boards and soldered it like that. And I will just connect these cables to here to program it and it will be a lot easier and after that I just connected it and it became like a development board and it is easy to hook up to things and I also connected other end of it to a node MCU and I will try to program it in this setup loading the firmware is fairly simple you just need to unzip the files that you just downloaded and go to the firmware folder and click make it point exe and it will create the uploadable file and it is this bin file and it does fairly a quick job for compiling it then you can upload this file to your ePrice tag after this you need to type this code in to Comment prompt. I will do it in two steps. And it will start the server. Then, at this point, you need to click this link. And of course, you can translate it to English as well. And you don't need to connect it to a ESP board or anything because. All we are going to do is from the Bluetooth. So we need to find the correct device from our list. In this case, this is the one that I have. And for example, if you don't like the Chinese clock face, you can change it by clicking uh, this one. Because in the code, there are two watch faces are installed. And first, you need to send the instructions. And then click set clock to mode one. And the watch face will be changed. And right now, the time is not correct. You can quickly set time but by clicking this button. And it will be updated according to your time zone. Like this. 
And you can see the temperature level as well. It is getting that value temperature sensor, which is inside of the uh, microcontroller. It is not 100% correct, but well, it is better than nothing. It, it will not be too different than the real value. And what else you can do here? You can also set it to picture mode. And by doing so, you can do things like if you set it to the paintbrush, you can do things like this and directly send it to the price tag and of course you can enter texts for example and you need to save the text box and send it to the screen. And you can send, of course, uh, images that you have. And it will change the colors according to your price tag because um, some of the price tags support red colors as well. Mine doesn't. So it will show up in black and white and then upload it to screen. Other functions are pretty self-explanatory like when I set screen to completely black or white or do a partial mode update and, and if you want you can also play around with those. And another thing, which is also pretty nice here, is you can do serial port upgrades if you connected it to a USB TTL or any ESP board by clicking this button. And also you can do the over the air updates as well. For example, if you select a firmware that you compiled, then you can just choose the file and send the new uh, firmware and all it will be done through the air. Of course, you need to select the correct price tag model here. And that's basically it. I think there can be quite a lot of possibilities with this price tags and you can use it on your own projects quite easily. All you need to do is connecting it a USB to TTL connector or if you don't have one, you can also use one of the ESP boards or any other, another Arduino boards to program these things. And you can use this as it is, as a clock or send your pictures to them and they will not ask for too much current and the battery will last for months. And I think there can be quite a few applications for this type of things for our own project. For example, I am thinking about using them for web scrapping and sending information directly to this and just place it to the locations in my home. For example, I can maybe make a project which shows the status of the uh, sensors in my home assistant server and also if you are interested you can show some information from the web like for example stock exchange or temperature values outside or maybe garbage collection days and possibilities are quite i think also it makes sense to buy these price tags instead of the e modules because they are quite cheaper compared to the modules and i think the modules will not be cheaper because there is not so much demand for it but for these price tags demand is quite high and i think they can mass produce this kind of uh, stuff uh, for the supermarkets and other areas you can buy one of these and use them in your own project instead of this uh, e-ink modules also if you don't want to use the microcontroller inside of these things uh, maybe you might uh, need an access to wi-fi or something you can convert these things to a uh, module uh, e-ink modules you can upload the information to here or control it directly from the esp or something so if you have any ideas which you think might be pretty nice to have for these price tags please share it down in the comments and i will see what i can do maybe i can do another project 
uh, with your own ideas. And yeah, that's basically it. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and see you next time.